We have caught up with the cats, everybody. They're in this thicket now in amongst a big Zizifus bush on the termite mound. It's not the best view in the world, but I gotta tell you, they have been walking through this long, long, long grass and Craig's exceptional eyesight has managed to keep them in view. All we had for a lot of the time was just the grass waving. And in the background you might just be able to hear some kudu alarm calling. And now they can relax a little bit in there. Not perched up in a tree. Oh, this is very special. Hello little fellow, nice to meet you. Now, I still haven't managed to see if she's got suckle marks on her or not. Sinead said that she thought Inkanyeni had suckle marks yesterday. So there are a number of interesting discussion points that go with that. And if you just hold on a second, I'm just going to speak on the radio. Go ahead. And I'm just trying to try and f figure out uh, where we are. Yeah, it's Inkanyeni and Votomi. And the dogs have gone on to Mala Mala. So we made the right decision to stay with these cats. All right, what we'll do is move around. So what's interesting here is that this is an 18 month old male. She may have new cubs already. And that means that when we talk about our friend Karula, our great queen, our favorite, well, most of our favorites, um, I'm just gonna try and drive around this termite mound what it means oh here we go right in front of us here what it means is that she might actually be mating maybe she's just getting ready to have more babies isn't that lovely that's gorgeous And they're so different, these leopards. You know, we had reports, maybe Shongila and Hosanna, and I saw this youngster and I thought, you just knew immediately that it wasn't either of them. I mean, they are, I couldn't tell you how I knew that, but they're just totally different, aren't they? Yeah, Tavon. Beautiful stuff. So let's sit here for two minutes and then we'll try and drive around a bit and see if we can't get another view of Mrs. And of course, lots of interesting discussion to be had about if she is suckling, why, and so she's got new cubs, why would she put up with this youngster in her territory? Well, he's too young to go independent on his own and while she must have new love for her new babies. She almost certainly remembers with affection this young fellow because he's only 18 months old. Now, in case you're wondering, Vutomi means life, which I think is a wonderful name for a leopard. Vutomi. It's very not. It's very untraditional. His mother's name is equally nice, Inkanyeni, the light. Now, just take a moment to appreciate how many leopards we have driven past as they've sat in this long grass. How many countless sightings, potential sightings, we could have had. But because, well, not all of us have got eyes like Craig, Batman, Zammet. Well, we haven't managed to spend that much time with him. Let's go around the other side. And very gently make our way around. We're quite close by. We don't want to make too much noise. not sure that we're going to get a better view, to be honest. 
we'll just see if we can't see in Kanyeni. There isn't a better view of Utomi. I'm afraid he's put his head down now. No, I don't think we're going to see her either. We'll just stick the camera in there, Craig. I don't think that we're going to get her. <laughs> Beautiful sighting, isn't it, Craig? All right, we're going to sit here with these leopards. Byron has managed to find you an insect that is not quite spotted in the same way that a leopard is, but it is spotted. <laughs> 